Okay. I am very unhappy with what happened today. You know, I expected more maturity from you. Now, I know that this is the first time that this happened, so I will be lenient. But listen, <sighs> look, when you're part of a family like ours, you can't just do something like this, okay? We share everything, but you cannot take without asking. That's stealing. Now I know that we're a, a commune, we share everything, but that was just stupid. You took something, you started a fight, and then it got out of hands. Now, defending yourself, I'm not going to say anything. That's normal. I don't expect you to just not fight back. But, why, why did you do this? Why do you make this so hard? I don't want to be angry at you, but it is getting on my nerves. We really cannot afford infighting right now. You're not the only one in trouble. I spent a long time chewing out the other guy for escalating the situation not everything is on your shoulders you escalated the situation and instead of doing something to stop it he just escalated even more that's just childish there is no point in doing this nothing gets resolved through fighting we are one we are together we are strong when we are together if we fight against each other, we will just fall. Everything will go down in chaos. I cannot afford this kind of stuff happening. Do you understand? <sighs> Look, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to punish you. I'm not going to do anything to you. You didn't know. I get it. He is the one that's going to get punished. What I want you to do is to be the bigger person in this situation. Now I understand you're angry at him. You're angry at a lot of stuff. I get it. I've been there too. You know my story. You know what I did. Emotions are really hard to deal with. I understand that. But this was just too much. We need to fix this. Now, there's two solutions. One, you get punished publicly. It's not going to be a big punishment. Not the kind you're thinking of. The kind of punishment that you would get is more of a show of submission. Where you will expose your neck by raising your head and I will well bite it to show that you trust me and I trust you 
that is the first thing that we can do the second thing is you are going to swallow your pride and be the bigger person I don't want you to fight you are new to the pack and for as much as I like you and I like having you around the others are still wary of you and I don't want I don't want enemies to form I don't want faction to form if that one wolf doesn't like you all his friends don't like you too and when that happens it just snowballs and then people are going to join your faction people are going to join his faction no no I'm not dealing with something like this again I am sorry but you're going to have to go there and do what is right quote unquote right of course I promise you this he is not a bad person I understand that the first impressions they are everything your first impression of that person was a fight for a for a while it's probably going to be everything you're going to see a fight whenever you speak to him if I don't intervene that's probably all you'll see from him forever because once you make your first impression of someone you never change it that stays forever and that leads down a path of destruction fight war that first impression of you the first impression he has of you and that you have of him they're both wrong a hundred percent I don't want this to be it so please do this for me this is an order I want you to go there and make peace with him shake on it he will immediately accept your apology he'll definitely apologize to you then we look over the situation you do the display of submission don't worry he will do it too and then we put all of this behind us and that's it resolved This kind of situations, they're like a, an injury, like a, like a chip in your armor, like a crack in glass. They're small. You look at them, you're like, how bad can it be? And then they spread. The glass cracks more. The wound doesn't close, gets infected. And then... It destroys the thing that looks like could never be destroyed. It just all falls apart so easily because of such small things. That's why I pay so much attention to this kind of situations. Everyone thinks that it's under me, but no. Keeping the peace is my job. And I will do anything to keep the peace. I hope you can understand me. I hope that this will be it. That we'll never have problems again. That I'll never have to scold you like you're a child. 
I don't believe you are. I think you're very mature and that you know better. Please get along. Take it upon yourself. And I promise you will not regret it. Okay. Go talk to him. I'm done talking here. I'll see you later.